look, I've stayed on this side for the moment. I think looking in here without the injectors in the way will give you a better look at what happens when we take the timing. I oh, take the timing, tap it cover off. So we'll just undo these nuts. This one's been bashed. Come on. Oh yeah, it's on its way off. So the thread's not in very good condition on this bolt here. They've actually been over tightened. You can see the, the little dimple in the top there. They don't need to be tight. Well, it's not that tight. So the three nuts are away. Okay, because this one's bent, the cover's coming up, up at the front, no worries, but the stress on this bolt here. There we go. You don't want to damage the gasket here or the gasket surface. Normally this just pops off. There we go. That appears okay. From what you can see there. Now I like to tip this upside down and anything that comes from under the rocker cover, I like to pop back in the rocker cover. So it's a four cylinder. One, two, three, four. So when we look at the ports here, it goes exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust, exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust. So you can see exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust, exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust. So, what we may do, is this engine still turns over. So, the reason we're turning it over now, is what we're looking at, is see if any valves stick down, because we have no history of this engine. So we'll just have a bit of a, a bit of a look. So, as these valves are rocking, as the valves rock on number four, that tells you that we're firing on number one. So we should have clearance there, and yes we do. So at this stage here, the lock tab on the crank should be down, and it is. So okay, we're firing on number one, so next thing we'll fire on number three. So we should wait for number two to rock and there we have it rocking there and we have valve clearance on number three so one three okay number one will rock so there we go one three four that's a bit more than the others had. I'll just just make sure this is rocking properly. So this one's loose and this one's I can just feel a bit of clearance there but boy there's not much. This, may, this one may have almost been riding, we don't know. Okay, one, three, four. Now this one will rock. And number two will become loose. 
Okay, so we've got number three rocking. And two loose valves there. Great, that's what we'd expect to see. So, look, everything's looking good there. I believe this head may have been done up. If you have a look at the paint down below, it's a grey block, but the head has got like a white paint or something like that, and it has stainless steel Welsh plugs in the back of the head there. So I'm thinking it's looking like it was done up at some stage. It's been through a, an engine reconditioning shop at least. Okay, we'll just back this. Just back them off a bit. Okay. Looks like the studs come loose with this one. It's not what you really want, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not life changing. Bring this one out. Actually, this stud's loose here too. We'll see if it'll come up over this bent stud here. May do. Oh look, it'll come out anyway. That'll be problem solved. Then to the rocker cover with that. Now this should just lift up. And what we're looking for here is on this end tower here you see this little little bolt here you know the rest of them haven't got one and what that's for is at the back of the head here there's a hole for the oiler for the oil to get up into the rockers so that's why the shaft can't turn in this rear um, rocker support or yeah, rocker shaft support all the others have the hole there you'll notice but there's no holes in the block it's only that back one. So if you have an engine and that little screw has come out for some reason, chances are your rockers aren't any good. Now, the other thing we look at here is the wear on the rockers themselves. And look, <laughs> there's just none. This looks like a really good little engine. Really good little engine so far. But look, that does look good. As far as a set of rocker gear goes, That'd be okay. You can't, you can move them along the shaft a bit, they're spring loaded, but you also look for side movement and, and I, I really can't feel any. Anyway, we'll pop that in there. Now we have some push rods to look at. Now I believe these will all be straight because we had rocker clearance and things like that and not a Huge amount of rocker clearance. I don't think we'd have a problem. Some people like to keep them in the same holes. I don't. I don't see the point really. They all look good. You can sit the rockers, or sit the push rods here on a bit of board and just run them down the board and see if they've got any any whoops in them. You'll see it then. But look, it's looking good. The ends of the valves are looking good. Now there's no there's no caps or rotators on the valves. Actually, I thought some of these engines had them. I'll have to check on that. And you'll notice that the stems on the inlet valves are quarter inch, and well, they're probably five sixteenth. I'm sorry, and the exhaust is three eight. But they all look good. Like I'm I'm quite pleased with that. 
we have no idea of the history of this engine, like I said, so yeah, it's just one of those suck it and seize. <laughs> All right, we'll get the camera around this other side. Oh, a, a thing to mention may be that um, with these 23C heads, they actually had a white metal plug down in the heads here on some of them, and that would eat through and put water into your oil, into your engine oil, that it'd, it'd come through the plug and run down. This one has a stainless steel hex plug put in there. Now, I'm not sure, I didn't think that was standard, but I could be wrong. Um, I thought they had this little white metal thing, but anyway, I'll pick the camera up and I'll give you a little look in there. And there we go, this fella here. Now normally, that's, um, yeah, normally I think it's white metal, but there's a thread there that you can clean the thread out and I often put a brass plug in the petrol engines anyway. But with the diesels, look, I, leave me a message about that, eh, if you, if you have an idea.